United Nations, the UN Security Council failed in two rival votes Friday to extend humanitarian aid deliveries from Turkey to four. One million Syrians in the rebel-held northwest, with the U.S. ambassador warning that people will die because of this vote. After days of consultations, the U.N.S. Almost all council members favored a year-long extension, which the U. N. Secretary General and more than 30 non-governmental organizations insist is the minimum time frame needed, but Russia demanded a six-month renewal, with a new resolution required for another six months. The failure of the U. N. S. most powerful body to agree on an extension came two days before Sunday's expiration of the Council's current one-year mandate for deliveries through the Babel Hawa border crossing from Turkey to northwest Idlib. Many ambassadors, including those from Ireland, Norway, the United States, France, and China, said after the two votes that they will continue trying to get an agreement among the 15 Council members so that aid is not stopped. Soon after the two votes and speeches, council members went into closed consultations and discussions were expected to continue over the weekend. Russia's deputy ambassador Dmitry Polyansky told reporters there was 99% agreement on a resolution and Russia wouldn't support a nine-month extension, suggested by Brazil and the United Arab Emirates. Unless council members decide to go with the Russian six-month proposal, Polyansky said, he sees no possibility for an agreement. Asked whether that meant that Russia would veto any proposed resolution that didn't follow its draft with a six-month timeline, he replied obviously. The first vote was on the resolution for a one-year extension drafted by Norway and Ireland. It was supported by 13 countries, with China abstaining and Russia using its veto to defeat the measure. Council members then voted on the rival Russian resolution for a six-month extension. The vote was just two countries in favor, three against and ten abstentions. China was the only country to join its ally Russia in supporting the resolution while the three other veto-wielding permanent council members, the United States, Britain and France, voted against it. But their vetoes were not needed because the resolution failed to get the minimum nine yes votes required for approval. Calling it a dark, dark day in the Security Council. U.S. Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield told members after the vote that the impact on Syrians in the Northwest will be swift and dire. I have long said this is a life-and-death issue, she said, blaming Russia's veto for the deaths that are.